Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, 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 hey, yeah. Hey, welcome to Millionaire Mind. Good. On to six. I told y'all about that weak ass shit, man. Y'all better come in like y'all happy. Hey, y'all. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Start the countdown over. Hey, you better act like, you know what I'm saying? We like one of the hottest shows out there, all right? Not coming out like that, that. Hey. Yeah, baby. Hey. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. We definitely hey, baby. not doing that right there. Hey, shoo. Okay, we definitely not. No. Shoo. <laughs> First of all, you going the wrong way. Your slope is to the left. It's oh. Johnny Bravo. Okay, now, okay, now. We come in the right way. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah, you ready? Bro. You ready. All right, look. Ready. Hey, hey, other person in the room, you ready? <laughs> we can't tell you the name right now. Oh, okay, then. Well, don't have me talking. <laughs> <laughs> you put yourself on the mic. You easily could have did. You see, no one heard that. Um, uh huh. <laughs> I don't know your format, sir. I don't know your format. Y'all, y'all ready? Turn up. Y'all ready? You ready? Yeah, I'm good. All right, let's do it. Let's start over. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Welcome, Welcome to, to the Millionaire Mind, Mind Show. Our two fans. Radio show. You got yeah. to sing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> on WANFM.com, you guys. Yeah. I'm your girl, Leah Gemini. It's your boy, Prince True Bing. It's your boy, Cali Bo, man. You already know what it is. Yes, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in on yet another Monday afternoon with us from 4 to 6. We definitely have a lit show for yeah, yeah, you yeah. guys. We have our first special guest in the studio. Woo! So you guys may actually know Missy, Missy, Missy. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and we're going to go ahead and introduce you because we want you to go ahead and talk throughout the show with us. Oh, that's yes. so fun. So, yes, you guys, later on in the hour, we will definitely, definitely have our exclusive interview with the one and only comedian, Jay Renee Witherspoon. So go ahead, Miss Jay Renee. Yeah, I'm comedian Jay Renee with a soul all the way from Mobile, Alabama. Ah. Uh, I've been a resident of an illegal represent, <laughs> resident of Georgia. Illegal, and you said that on Old National. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah so I'm straight illegal. Like, I, I don't have a Georgia license. My car's not registered in Georgia. Uh, I have no ties to Georgia for real. All my mail goes to Alabama, but I do work. And I live here, and I pursue my stand-up comedy career here. That's right. Oh, she a hot girl. Yeah. We're yeah. yeah. going to get to know her a little bit more. You guys save her on in an hour. But for now. We're going to have to take a bathroom break before we do that, though. Oh, yeah. She's guaranteed. She comes with a warning sign. She's guaranteed to make the pee. So. Oh. Yeah. I, I really was about to ask, why we got to take a bathroom break? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you just really caught me off guard with that one. Like, really? Really? Like, you like, you don't, you don't, you don't hold your pee pee? <laughs> no, nah. Now with her, nah. yeah, she is definitely nah. hilarious, you guys. But we will definitely get into more with Miss J. Renee a little uh, later on in the hour. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and do our weekend recap, y'all. Yes. We had four weekends. Yes, we did. I know I did. Me too. I'm still tired. I am exhausted. Um, but Callie, I want to hear your weekend first. If I go in my, I want to hear my weekend first. Cause you didn't go first last time, remember? Yeah. And your weekend be lit too. <laughs> I don't know about lit, but it, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was something in there. It was something there, man. Look, all right. So I ain't gonna lie, man. Weekend, like I, I had a family fun field weekend. You know, uh, shout out to uh, Sunday, but we definitely gonna get to what we what we did Sunday. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying, I had like a lot of family fun, you know, Friday, hanging out with the family. But uh, Saturday, Saturday was real big. Uh, went to a fashion show with Star Jew, Miss Leah Gemini. <laughs> but trying to find out on my great-grandmother's side, I had some family that's still down here. And it's like, it was a lot of us. I mean, at least 30 people in, 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 the, in the yard. And we were right down the street from where you where you was. Like, like, like that's why I had to go. Like, look. I'm here, but I gotta go see my people. Went down there, it was nothing but love. Good drink. Shout out to the hen. Shout out cousin Albert, uh, 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 Uncle Milt, uh, uh, Uncle Milton. I'm prob- uh, Auntie Wanda, which is my cousin, but she's like my auntie. And to the rest of y'all, 
uh, you know, the Gooch family is definitely strong in the South. And, um, you know, uh, Club 6340 was definitely lit Saturday night as well. Oh, but uh, my night didn't end so well. I mean, um, you guys want to hear about that? or Yeah. Oh, sure. okay. Uh, you guys want to be intrigued? All right, boom. So, after a long night, a fun pill night, busy night where we, you know, we, we, we had fun. Okay. It was productive. Productive. Right. It was you know, definitely productive. Uh, uh, I had my homeboy with me. Uh, my homeboy Kevin. He'll he he ride with me. You know, Kevin don't get out a lot, and 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 I understand Kevin. You know, he don't get out a lot, and and that's cool. You know, but um, uh, you know, Kevin Kevin really enjoyed himself. <laughs> mm-hmm. Except on the way home, uh, he was kind of you know a little bit overly. Uh, okay. No, nah, I'm gonna say overly relaxed. <laughs> like I don't like I I I've never had someone try to put their charge their phone on the charger and somehow lean over to the driver's side while they're doing it while I'm driving. Lean on me. It, that, that's exactly what he did. <laughs> he leaned on me. Like and I'm like like bro like what you doing, Kev? Back up, move. Like oh man, dude, what up? You ride down the street. I don't know what it is about people who are drunk who just feel like they can touch your radio and turns up my radio, blasts it. Did he scare you? He kind of did. So I kind of. <laughs> so you were expecting that? I really wasn't. And I, I <laughs> acted like on the ranch. You sitting there like, what the hell, right? <laughs> I acted like a parent. Like I snapped his hand. Like, hey, you don't get to listen to music, all right? You got to think about your actions for tonight, all right? You got to tell him why he don't, he don't deserve to listen to music. Oh, I, I did skip that no. part, but okay. See, see, all right. You know what? You know what? You're all right. Forget it. This is what they really want to know. Okay. <laughs> so on the way home, some people cannot really, you know, hold their liquor or whatever the case it may be. All right. It is what it is to each his own. Uh, on the highway, bars out the window. Normal, but something that's not normal happens. I don't know what it was, but as I'm riding down the street and he's earling out the window, I don't know what it was, but something just hit me mm. on the side of my face. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. wait. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Pause for the calls. You had an Ace Ventura pet detective moment in your car. <laughs> Bruh, it wasn't good. Hold on, time out. That's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. So Kev is going. Like, he is. And I'm, you nasty son of a mother. I, I, I swerved off. He, he almost got thrown out the car on the highway. I really didn't care. So. Poke Kev. Yeah, poke Kev. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, after he I pull over, he get himself straight or whatever the case. We we continue on. As we continue on, he's like, Hey, uh, can you get I I need something to eat. All right, cool. After throwing up like no to a pit. Detention. But but I understand it. I understand it. Yeah. He didn't empty this stuff. Right, right, right. Get you something to eat. I'm not I'm mad. Empty, so now he got to eat. <laughs> get you something to eat. I'm not mad at you. All right. Get you something to eat. All right. He go to church, it's cold his stomach. No, no, no. We was on we like when we were we were on we, we was on the west side and, and a lot of stuff open on the west side. Not not after eleven o'clock. Not eleven o'clock. Shut the so, whole city down. So 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 the only thing that was open yeah, baby, don't but, but the only thing that was open was like a little fast food joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. A little fast food joint. And it was like um parking lot, like, you know, the driveway. It's like one lane. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the place. You ain't gonna tell the place. But it's just one right. lane. We ain't giving them no publicity. Yeah, ain't giving you no place. But it's like just <laughs> one lane, right? One lane. <laughs> we order the food. Well he orders the food. Okay. I'm not hungry. I'm, I'm good. good. He orders the food. Ace Ventura ordered the food. This man ordered two combos. Snapchat. Come on. Two combos. Fourteen seventy five. Meanwhile Ooh. on the ranch. All right. We pull up to the, up to the window. Let me see where y'all were. Fourteen seventy five. Two combos. Okay, keep going. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we in the hood. <laughs> yeah, we in the hood. I already know where y'all was at. Exactly. So we so fourteen seventy five. We pull up. The lady says, "Hey, that fourteen seventy five. Mind you, I didn't order nothing, so I'm waiting for Kev. Waiting for him to I look back at Kev. Kev, please. <laughs> no, Kev just looking. So I'm thinking Kev didn't hear her. So I said, hey, baby girl, what's that again? 1475. 
Hey, bro. 1475. <laughs> now, this is what bothered me. Okay. It's the fact that you reached in your pocket first. Okay. <laughs> And then the question that followed was, not even the question, the comment. You reached in your pocket first, give me the illusion. That and, you got some. And then you said, man, look, man, they're like, they what I've been trying to tell you all night. Need you give me something to eat. Mind you, out of all these places that we was at where the food was free, from a fashion show to a family spot to the club, everything was free. You could have been eight. Right, long time ago. Long time ago. But then when we get to the fast food spot, you are the two combos, knowing you ain't got no money. No. So you could have said something to me. <laughs> no. Could have said, and I would have got you. We, we went with dollar menu. Right. Right. Because like, I didn't like, bro, like that. Because I done turned up on a dollar menu. Exactly. <laughs> like, like I couldn't even go to Waffle House and after I put, that. Put, put exactly. Like, look, five dollars cool. I got you. Yeah. yeah. Like you straight. Menu. Yeah. But yeah. As we're leaving, right, and like I just so did you pay for the food? I had to because look, the lane was one way well, in. To take one no, no, it was one way in. So oh, I, no way y'all want. So so the, so at that point, I'm I'm frustrated. I'm pissed. I'm the lady's looking at me, and I'm just like, look, just take, just, just take. I, I that's how mad I am that, that 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 I'm generous at this point. Like mm. this, let, let this night generous. end. Wow. So as we're riding down the street, yeah, mind you, he don't stay this far from where we stopped to eat. He's you mean when he stopped eating? Yeah, when he stopped eating. So <laughs> he's, he's going through the bag, eat. and as he's going through the bag, he says, "Man, he must, he can't never get nothing right. Oh. Always messing up orders, oh. going up." Man, oh. do you know I stopped? It. I stopped in the middle of the intersection. It's like, what you complaining for? Like, man, they don't never get nothing right, man. I don't like going there. Really? Hey, did you pay for that, dog? Meanwhile, well, <laughs> when I said, "Did you pay for that?" This was a reaction. Yeah, you're right. My bad. You're right. So on top of getting thrown up on, oh no, you bought his food. Then, then, I, yeah. then, then I bought your food. Then the throw up was in. Then the throw up was in the back seat. Oh, so he, so he, he, he like destroyed the <laughs> night. <laughs> And what his name is? <laughs> if I ever run into this brother, I swear to God. That is all Kev, man. That is all my Kev, man. Let me tell you care. something. Kev. Woo! Oh, hey. you, need to, you need to be mindful of the company you keep. Hey, hey, like, I, this company. I don't, think he, I don't think he ate nowhere that day. I, I don't. I, I, I don't. Because it, it, it's, it's rumored to believe if you eat uh, two pieces from churches but prior to drinking your liquor, you can drink all night and. That, don't have no hangover. That oil. Because that oil, that that, that, that mouth fat in the <laughs> will coach you. Yeah. That back fat. Bring you to the promised that, land. That, that lord <laughs> will, will coach your stomach from a second. <laughs> it bring you to the promised land where we tell you. That lord <laughs> will coach your stomach. Oh, my God. Okay, all that lord and that back fat will coach your stomach. That Crisco, remember Crisco used to come in the can, they were white. They still and, it. And, they, and they, well, I know, right? But most people don't buy that because it's no, so bad, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Right. And they take that damn all three days to melt down for your chicken. But well, maybe the best damn fried chicken you ever had. Man, that's true mobile right there. Okay. That is true mobile right there. Man, Man. bro, that, that can will last you from here to eternity. And you. Recycle the recycle. grease. <laughs> okay, okay, for real, real talk. So clearly, Kale need to get his life together and get a, a thing of Crisco. I had an aunt one Does he time. Who? The who? The one? No, 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 no. See, look, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why he's not gonna get the old hell now. Tell him. Okay, because no, no, no. Actually, no, he's not fam, man. That's my cousin. That, that's my own boy. <laughs> that's your cousin. Just, just it up. Just it up. Don't just own him now. That's your family. Nah, man. Y'all blood <laughs> related. Nah, that's my whole boy. <laughs> Y'all related through but marriage. But they probably like family. Right. Y'all grew up. His name was Kevin, man. <laughs> <laughs> Is Kevin married? Nah, Kevin not married. Kevin got a girlfriend? Kevin got hoes. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> how, many, how many of them on the roster? Hey, Cause crazy. I could be the bottom bitch at any time. Oh my god! That between you. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what. Okay. I'm gonna hook you up. Hey, hey, Kev, you really know who you are. <laughs> Hit me up. <laughs> hey, I got one point.
Kev, you really know who I you are. Okay. Hey, right, like you can put it down. I'm sorry. I had sorry. to tell the story. <laughs> But look, okay, look. Oh, Bottom yeah. line is, look, the names were switched up to protect the innocent, all right? <laughs> all right, look, I ain't going to do my vote like that, but I'm right. definitely going to tell the story because he yeah. did my car like that. Wow. Really. I, still, I mean, I heard everything else. I just can't get past the throw of hitting the face. Hey, first of all, first of all, you ain't got to keep bringing it up. I'm sorry. You ain't getting hit in the face, all right? Exactly. How many baths did you take that night? Because I would imagine. Like, did you have to stop? Like, did you have something about your face, like, right then, or did you just let it dry? This is how bad it is. I had these little armor on, like little red mats. Oh, but that's armor on. I swear to God. That's all I had. That's all I had. That's all I had. No, no, look, look, look. It was that and the sleeve of my shirt. Because, mind you, remember, for some reason, like, I had that hood. I put that hood on at the end. So, when he doing that and it hit me, while I'm driving, I was like, oh, like, I shielded it. Right. So when we pulled over, so it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Like I don't, oh, God. Been like 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 oh, I don't own that sweatshirt no more because I was scared to look at what was on the side of that the sweatshirt. Content, the content. So like when I like when we stopped, it got put out on the road like right here. So does he suffer from in any any? I'm thinking like does he have like acid reflux or something? Cause he's nah. acting like that. You know, normally babies when they project like that got a little reflux and he may need to go get his uh, <laughs> yeah, some uh, uh just what nah. it's called. He needs to get his um gastric bypass or whatever you wanna call it checked. Uh -huh. Nah, he just had a good he got, time. He got That's all, problems or something, because clearly <laughs> It wasn't just alcohol that caused this issue. I mean, did he uh, did he eat a buffalo wing or something prior to this situation that it didn't agree with him? Was it was he mixing his alcohol? I was about to ask. Did, was, was, was he was mixing his alcohol? Well, you know what? No, no, no. Was he mixing brown with white? Well, no, well, no, well, 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 let me tell you, let me tell you. Probably was. No, no, no. First, first, no. that's not an excuse because I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay. I was drinking in earlier that day, and when we got in, in uh, at the club, we got we got them blue drinks. Them blue MFs, that oh. white bottle, and I was still straight. So that was I was still yeah. straight. So what did he eat prior anything. to that? I don't know. Same thing he I don't know. Kel wasn't eating because Kel had you on his food. <laughs> God, look. You, you turned into a date. That I, night, and then I, I really did. I, I did. Kel was your girl that night. You had treated him to two big hey, well, special meals. I mean, well, you about to be Kev girl. Oh. oh. Well, Kev. Kev, how are you? This is a what? disclaimer for Kev. <laughs> <laughs> if you throw up on me. It's gonna be some some sad singing and some slow walking. Oh. Okay, it's gonna be some pushing up daisies because I promise you that's gonna be the last day you take your last breath. <laughs> and you probably not walking. <laughs> Jay Renee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hashtag disclaimer. Hey, nothing about my weekend. I I don't want to talk about it no more. Well, we'll talk about the other day together. You, how was your? Sh my weekend was full. It was very productive. I had a show. Um, well, it was a gala affair. Shout out to V Dinks, Miss Vivian. Shout out to Miss Judy. Um, they are some wonderful, wonderful ladies. And Miss Vivian was celebrating her, um, you know, her fashion, her line. Um, she were, you know, also recognizing a lot of people who were there in support of her, um, from the models to, um, other colleagues that she, you know, uh, is in business with and are close to her. So it was a really nice event. Um, we had performers. Shout out to the gentlemen. Marvel <laughs> House. Who, who, wow. who were doing the Temptations. Yeah. They yeah, did, really? Wait, hold on. They they did, did their thing. Yeah. I missed yeah, they like did. a cover. They I missed that. They did that cover and they had the gloves on. They, they, had, they, they yeah. had the whole, the whole, um, I don't know who did the choreography on that, but did they do? Yeah. Did they do my favorite song, Papa's Rolling Stone? They did. Yep. Not, they, yes, did. they did. Oh, they did. They did that. Oh, they did that. That's that's what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. We were in the back yeah. trying to get ready, make up, right, right. getting fitted. So if they did, if they did Papa's Rolling Stone and they kicked out that first line, <laughs> it was the third of September. <laughs> they, they did that. <laughs> that day I always remember. Yes, I, I will. will. <laughs> That was the day. <laughs> they did my girl too. 
okay. Well, that ain't my favorite song. I don't but care yeah, about my girl. So, I love that one, though. Papa Blue and Stone. But I appreciate my brothers for coming out. They definitely came yeah. out. Yeah. That's what's up. Why you ain't tell me? Why you ain't tell me? She just came. That would have been a good networking opportunity for me. I could have, like, slick got on the show. <laughs> exactly. Did something on the slick, uh-huh. you know? We got Look, I got you next time. Look, because I walk around with a cordless mic that Bluetooth to everybody's speakers. <laughs> you tripping. I, I'm like a walking host. I got you next time. That's you what's said, up. I didn't know until Let's go. it was like six days before that. So. That's all right. That's all right. We ain't even mad at it. Yeah. Just next time, though. Look out for a sister. <laughs> I like Excuse I me while I fix my glasses. Look, look. <laughs> she don't have any tea to sip. It's all good. Yes, no tea to sip. Just a little water. Yes, who was? Somebody say something? Easy. I know you're listening. You can kiss my ass for the question you just asked. For the question you asked. Ask. For your comment, you can kiss my ass. You still the homie. What did I meant that with like all. I would not sit. You can kiss my ass. What did he, what did he, what did he ask? He said. What's wrong with a little puke? <laughs> he always do that. Though. The same thing. What's wrong with a little dude? <laughs> <laughs> if somebody shit on you, you ain't gonna be happy about it, right? <laughs> so why would this man want somebody to puke on him? So what's his name? Easy. Today he go right there. I'm gonna talk look. directly Uh-oh. to Easy. Let me right. You're right. Uh, easy. From here on out. Before you type, proof, read. Send it in a messenger to some of your friends to see if this question is cleared, okay? <laughs> Don't you ever in your life ask somebody what's wrong with a little puke. For the same damn reason, you will like your baby to shit on you, okay? Thank you. <laughs> you know he coming back with something in the chat, so we're going we well, to leave that up for you guys. Yes. But yes, you guys. That's, how, that's what's up, though. It's like a whole yeah. little fashion show and stuff. You know, when I first met you, your arms, I was like, damn. <laughs> I'm around here. I'm around here walking around with this old bye bye fat. <laughs> Every time I wave at a motherfucker, they put two waves. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. I be right here like faking, like I got a muscle. <laughs> I got a bottom muscle. <laughs> I got I got biceps, triceps, and how to do that step. And how to do that step. <laughs> yeah, how to do that step. Yeah, they do that, though. <laughs> That's what's up, though. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. How tall are you? I am five, six and a half, five, seven. And you know what? Normally in the modeling world, it's like extremely it's short. short. You know what I'm it saying? Is. So it I is. know when you put those heels on, you walk like you seven feet seven, right? I actually have my walk. If you guys haven't checked it out, for those of you who didn't get a chance to look at it, it is on Facebook. Okay. Um, I have to go see it. I love to see that. Yeah, the last weekend was awesome. Uh-huh. Oh, y'all got, got a call. Now, Crackle Pop. Who it is? And he would. Right. <laughs> is that how you do it? This is how we do, though. Uh, oh, it's, it's cool. Like, I, no, I already know who this is. It's easy, ain't it? Yeah, it's easy. Put him on the line. Hold on. I'm about to put your I'm sure you right now. All right, hold on. Oh, he. Is, is that on speaker? Is that, is that yeah, right? Okay, well, yeah. Hello? Okay. Yo, what's happening? Okay. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, hey, but, 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 what? <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. You're not going to justify that, Mr. Easy. <laughs> okay, well, you, we're not going to justify that, Mr. Easy. It's not going to happen. You're not going to justify puke and boo-boo and what is worse than the other. Okay? That's what we're not going to do. Okay? So, like he is, like he, like he sat here through this whole story and all he can do is, is try to justify the puke. What about the fact that your boy didn't have to pay for his boy meal and his boy knew he had no money? Let's right. address that right. in the story. Okay, because that's what's messed up when you go to reach for something that you know is not there. He ain't had no scratch off or nothing. God, hey, you could have tried hey, off. Hey, true. That was your weekend, all right? We're not. Hey, I'm probably. You got to go back to the comments. Yeah, look, y'all bring up my week. Hey, you know what? Forget this. Shout out to. Uh, shout out to Chen. Yeah, nobody get talked no more. Okay? Nah, shut up. <laughs> yeah. uh, when you got hung up 
phone, but then get her go phone. That's hilarious. <laughs> Snap, crackle, and pop. Like, I ain't going nowhere. That's all good. You gonna hear me? That's all good. He can keep his opinion though on the duty. We're we're gonna move right along. Bye, easy. Bye. Stay tuned. My weekend was great because right. I I spent it with my brother and my sister. Oh, it was good. Yes, we did. Oh, the like fashion Wakanda. show. Okay. Then we did we host a fair. <laughs> We did host well, a fair Sunday, and we did that. Since radio hosted a fair, That's like a fair with like fairs. We it was at Corner Hall. It was the Peach. Oh, they had Corner Cakes. Fair. They had, yeah, they had white people. They had pretzels. Huh? They had everything. And they had white people, but they didn't have no French fries. I don't care about the white people. As did they have funnel cakes? They had everything. Yeah. No, did they have funnel cakes? They did. Yeah. They had pulled pork sandwiches too. Pulled pork sandwiches. Nah, bro. Let me tell you something. When I go to the fair back home, my favorite thing, two things at the fair, the is that damn funnel cake and that chicken on the stick. It is something about that chicken, fried chicken and fried in that lard <laughs> on that stick. And you eat, and before you know it, it be gone. And then you be hating somebody say, "Give me a piece for what?" Right. Right. You was just over there. <laughs> you got a corn dog. Hey, what if right. you have enough money? Not my problem. <laughs> Trade off your EBT card for something. I don't right. care. You got a scratch off? You know, that's my thing. Yeah. I take all forms of payment scratch offs, EBT. And the fair was amazing, though. Right. Yeah. It really, really was. So, do they still was, have it going on? Or it's over? No, I think they may, but I really don't know. Okay. I mean, I'm not really sure. Because I've been, because I, I went to, uh, what was that? The uh, Atlanta Fair Outs downtown mm-hmm. Central Ave or whatever. And, and man. That damn funnel cake was life. Yeah. Yeah, like I felt my awesome. blood sugar levels like going through the roof. Like my my good cholesterol turned into bad cholesterol, and my bad <laughs> cholesterol turned into worse. Oh my worse. god. Just worse, you know. I had my look. Literally, I felt like my doctor was there with me. Like, like really, bitch, you, your numbers already high. We we trying to get you on. <laughs> you you really want to consume uh powdered sugar. And fried flour, because that's all a funnel cake is. It's just yeah. it's a batter mix, and then they drop it in the thing, and then it rises up. Mm-hmm. And they so don't good. drain it, but they don't drain it. Uh. Like if they if I go to one and they drain it, I'm pissed. Like don't drain my flour, don't drain my funnel cake. <laughs> I want my green because <laughs> <laughs> it soaks the the, the, the powder the sugar, powder sugar. Oh. soaks in the grease, and then you get to sop it up it's like so a biscuit. Good. Yes. It's so good. God, I'm going to Northlake this weekend. <laughs> hey, I, I love her, man. I like her. I told you I she like her. I going to Northlake this weekend. Um, but they don't have French fries. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah, you can get French fries. They didn't have French fries. They didn't. Boss Hog had French fries. What? But you don't mess with the pork. He told me he didn't. That's because you didn't want to buy no pork. I said, you got French fries? Oh, no, I don't got the French fries. I don't eat meat at all. Oh, no wonder, no wonder you're so thin. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, I can never be a vegan because I love meats of all kinds. <laughs> Little meats, big meats, fat meats. You just meats like that got, meats that got three tails. No, man. Nah, you just like meat, huh? I just like meat. You just like meat, huh? I like a lot of meat. You like, you like, you like, you like, you like that meat, slime, huh? Like that meat. <laughs> you like that meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a meaty girl. You a meaty girl. Yes. I don't know what I'm talking about. Where's the beef, huh? You want to with- Yes, back in the day. Yeah, where's, the beef? Yeah. where's the beef? You know, she just died like a couple of years ago. Where's the beef? Where's the beef, lady? It was, the beef, like, it was, it was all the beef. She was 175. It was all the beef. Where with Moses? She took all the beef that she can take. Yeah, really? She took all the beef she can take. Man, she was for that beef oh, for years. Why? Yes, where's she found the beef. beef. Yes, she found it. She yep. found that beef. She was a cougar, wasn't she? Well, baby, she was a cougar when she was kid, so she was definitely, uh, she was dead. She was a, just a dead cougar. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Hey, mm. She had that snap back. I want to go into something real quick. Beefy. Because okay. I know we're, we're... Beefy. I know we talked about the fair. Beefy. Uh-huh. And I know we talked about the recap on our weekend, but I'm Beefy. curious to know, what in the hell is a Beefy. pansexual? A what? A pansexual. A pansexual. Is, what is a pansexual? If you guys are a pansexual. Right now, a pansexual. A pansexual. A pansexual is when you're open to everybody and everything. See, this okay. brings us into our next yeah. what? segment. When you're open to everybody and, and everything. And everything. Like, you're a bisexual. They don't have sex with a dog. Right. They don't do animals. I thought animal. they did. Well, which one is it that will have sex with a dog? Bestiality. I don't know. Bestiality. That's bestiality. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pansexual are open to transgender people, lesbians. 
No matter what it is, if they're attracted, they're attracted. Right. Okay, that's what's up. I mean, I find women with big booties attractive, but that don't mean you I want to do them. Right. right. Yeah, you know? I find women with big booties attractive, too. I, I mean, I don't have no booty, but I think I don't think I'm attracted to them. I think I'm, like, jealous of them. <laughs> Cause I want that big booty too, but I realized if my booty was that big, it'd be a lot of pants I can't fit in. So because I got this old, oh, uh, no ass at tall ass, I'm able to get in them 14s. Cause if I had an ass, it'd be 18 still. You got a little better. song. I'll be seeing when you, when you be doing your, your own Nicki well, Minaj. Well, I know how to twerk. Your Nicki Minaj. Yes, I got, can. I am so the queen of twerking. Song. Yes, you are. I can twerk this little flat booty. <laughs> you know, I, I I have what they call a sweetheart ass. It's nothing there, just standing up. But once I've been over, it's like a little sweetheart. Little heart. <laughs> <laughs> because I know you said that's what's that, up, um, though. I know you wanted to talk about it. Yeah, because um, Janelle Mo- Monet announced that she was pansexual yesterday. That makes sense. Uh, I've always tried to figure out her sexuality. Yeah, because it never came across to me that she was just strictly men. Right. Yeah. So, so can I ask you a question. So, is she like the first one because like, I ain't never heard of that until. No, it's a, no, it's it's a, a lot of people out there. Yeah. Oh, people. no. Uh, Raven Simone yeah. at one point in time was saying she was she a pansexual was, yeah, she before was. she finally made up her mind that she and, had girls um, or and, women. And Kiki Palmer. Yeah, Kiki Palmer and has admitted I, it openly. Anytime, had, anytime you hear somebody just say, I love anybody that loves me, mm-hmm. they're pansexual. Nicki Minaj is one. It's a lot of Cardi B clever. would be considered as one. Because she like, she's had relationship with uh, men and women. So that don't necessarily mean bi. It's just you can have sex with uh, yeah, I think pansexual goes deeper than just men and women if you can no 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 but you know like say for instance you have uh what we would call the studs yeah all right so in, in all you know right in the film so in all earnesty that's like a pansexual because if you have sex with that you haven't expressed the both worlds you got the man and the girl yeah true and then I right think with the yeah, if you think about yeah. it i mean i think it would probably i ain't got shit to say <laughs> like, maybe it's out of your element yeah, I, 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 I ain't heard this word before. Woman or man, be, but it could be, it could go both ways. Yeah, so you, they're included in. And then you think about it too, Kylie Jenner, um, not Kylie Jenner, but Bruce, uh, Caitlyn. Ah, uh, fuck right, that, right. Bruce, Bruce. And Mama named him Bruce. Bruce he's we gonna Bruce. call him Bruce. Bruce. All right, so Bruce Jenner, you know, he when he was going through his whole thing. The reason why he hasn't full on had the procedure is because although he likes being in women's clothing, dressing up like a woman, he feels like a woman, he's attracted to women, women still. Like there was one chick on there who was trying to pursue him when he had the reality show and Bruce was like, nah, I can't go that way. But you can see his interaction with Chris Jenner, his ex-wife, and that man is still I'm sorry, that woman, politically correct. I'm sorry, people. Uh, it's what still, he did wasn't pol- politically correct, so you definitely don't have to apologize. Well, I'm going to apologize because I have to. Um, I am uh, I am hired through the LGBTQ community, and it would be <laughs> of me to speak negatively about anyone yeah, in that community. Right. And what you're not going to do, my brother, is mess up my money. <laughs> oh, you ain't going to mess my bag up. Oh, I can so I so if I said anything to offend my LGBTQ community, my apologies. Oh yeah, no, no, no. But yeah, no, you no know, he's still attracted. Like he, like you know. So even though a man may be attracted to him or her or whatever, whatever the case is, and then that's the other thing too in regards to this whole what is it, pansexual? Yeah. How people have a tendency to. <laughs> not want to put people in categories that's b- pretty much what that is okay. don't want to be put into a category don't want to be labeled as this or this so they don't want to be labeled as homosexual mm-hmm. heterosexual sexual, bisexual, bisexual tranny. right don't say tranny that's against the law well, yeah, that, yeah, that, that yeah, is trans, say, like yeah. saying nigga. You can't yeah. say that. Like you, you, you got you. You trans- try to call them a transgender. So you there's a difference between that. a transsexual and a transgender. Transsexual. Trans- a transgender right. is someone who identifies with a certain sex. Right. Transsexual is someone who likes to dress up in clothes of an opposite sex. Right. Then you have um 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 I'm, oh god it, it it skips my mind but. There, there's just different elements to it so wow. it's like in the community of the lgbt world i mean I'm down with these people they they have put real bread in my pocket so if you're gonna work with people you need to know who you're working with yeah. and then as a comedian you know 
I have the tendency to get a little bit raunchy. So I have to be mindful of some of the things I talk about when I do those shows. And it's not that I'm censoring myself. It's called respect. Right. You know, right. this is like going to the White House and calling Donald Trump. Oh, never mind. So, <laughs> <laughs> I was I was hoping I hope y'all got that on the thing the, the White House Correspondents Dinner how they how they um coming down on my female comedian I don't like what? that uh, uh, go ahead. nah it ain't Monique she went at the White House Correspondents Dinner for Donald Trump where you been all weekend oh you got threw up oh no come on Tia touch me goddamn it was it was uh, I forget her name I think her name is Michelle but it was some backlash for her stand-up routine because she was talking about old oh, girl that be doing the like the uh, press secretary the lady who would be with all the lies <laughs> like she'd be like well donald trump never tweeted and um those tweets were not put out by donald his page was hacked and we like you lying right we, we, he tweeted while you talking <laughs> uh... yeah so she had said some things about the way she dressed and stuff and it was like this whole big backlash you know fox news don't oh, have nobody God. to talk about yeah. donald yeah. Yeah. right of course, my mama do. Yeah, Kanye tripping. Oh, yeah. I'm skipping over. No, no, no. Y'all hear me? No. You can definitely talk about Kanye. Did you hear me? Kanye. And you saw what? Did y'all see that meme they made about Kanye? Oh, I heard about black people. I was like, well, about 2005. I remember him saying to George Bush, "I bet George Bush at home celebrating right now." Kanye don't give a damn about black people either. I knew it. I knew. He's trying to front me out and hit me while on the ranch. Nah, did y'all see the one about telling about the gun line, boss? Oh, 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 oh. no. <laughs> Tell him about the wall, boss. <laughs> that was, I posted that one earlier. I posted that one Saturday. I didn't see that. Like, got rid of my page to look at that one. Oh, he the little old black man. Yeah, yeah like yeah, he got, rich. It got Donald, like yeah, it got Donald, like it got Donald Trump as the white. Like if you've never seen life, life and, and it, like it's a scene on there where they got to tell him about the gun line, and you got the big warden, the big white dude. So right. in the picture, that's Donald Trump. But then there's a little black dude named Huff himself. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, yeah. No, 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 it wasn't Huff himself. It was Huff and Bob. I don't never. It was something like all I did it was, was tell him about the gun line. Bob. And all you ever heard was tell him about the gun line, boss. And and next thing you know, like look, he the, told the, like him. he told him about the gun line, but the war, like the warden he got a little thrown off a little bit. Mm -hmm. He was like, "Hey, we was like, hey, about the gun line, bro. <laughs> gun line, bro. Talking about the gun line, bro. Gun line." <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> but, uh, that is one of my favorite movies. I love that movie. That I, I can watch that movie over and over again. You know what part I like? You know what part I like? I'm the daddy. Hey, uh, 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 no, I'm the daddy, boss. I'm the daddy, boss. And then Bernie Mac come through. I don't know happening. Ain't nobody gonna touch you tonight. You gonna take all the fun out the crap, y'all. So <laughs> y'all know about her. Uh, I love that movie. I love that movie. Remember when he was going for the pie? When he was going like, for the pie? Like, uh, Ma'am. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Oh yeah, we went for the pie. We went for the pie. Now when he wanted some 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 color pies. Right, 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 oh, right. They both they both was running across that thing, they were shooting in cow. You like they want that pie that cherry pie. Pie was too damn hot too. It was hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey look, here, man. hey look, so what he said. He said, White only pies. pies. <laughs> and he just couldn't take it. Right. He just went. Not to veer off into another movie. Many don't burn no cheek. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I just had to say that. I know that Matt, but but she really put shit girl. in the pie. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, eat this is a shit. <laughs> you eat my, my shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Meanwhile, hey, but first of all, I got one question about Minnie. Uh -oh. How the hell did you like take the shit and put it in the pie? I want to. Well, how um, did you carry? Did you walk around with shit in your so purse? Have you ever had to uh -huh. have a colonoscopy? Okay, no. so what happens is with a colonoscopy, they ask you to bring them feces samples of your boo boo boo, and so you put a little thing in the um, toilet, and so when you uh, boo boo, you have something to go in there, you set it to the side, and then you finish what you're doing. So she probably pretty much did that, put like a thing in the toilet, let it drop down, and then proceeded to make that good old shitty pie. But then, then this pie. Is my whole thing. How did you mask the taste? I mean, mask the smell. Yeah. Because clearly, Minnie, you done flushed your system out. So I think Minnie had did a detox. Yes. <laughs> and then when her shit smelled good, uh. it didn't have 
no smell to it. You, or you know, you know, right. or maybe she used her newborn baby shit because you know newborn baby shit don't stink. But she said bye. Hey, hey hold on, real quick. She put well, it will still be hers because it's a kid. Yeah. Correction. Correction. Because my daughter shit belong to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping Bob. That was the name on life. Hooping Bob. Hooping Bob. Thank you, Mad Dog, for that. Uh, Thanks. Mad Dog went to Google on our ass. <laughs> no, Mad Dog was in the movie. <laughs> oh, he was? Uh, was no, 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 no. He was in the movie. Like He was in the first Life movie. When oh, he was in Life? Yeah, Life and Prison? Nah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mad Dog. <laughs> <laughs> he got the jumpsuit to match. Oh, got it. Orange and everything. So what do y'all think about Bill Cosby's... Uh, he did it. They need to let that man go. No. no okay. No. The whole thing with the whole he did it thing. I know. That, I know it's over. That goes without saying because he did, he did. it. It's just a matter of how much he said it in his own words. What, right. He said you know. he gave him the quite lewd and then it became consensual. Now, how you drug and you consent to sex with somebody, hey, I don't you. know. Right. Right. Say it with She said it. How do you drug somebody and say it's consensual sex? Because yeah. if I'm drugged and do, I'm not thinking with a clear mind and a clear conscience. So meanwhile, exactly. on the ranch, but if, you'd have treated, you proceeded to portray in my um, the jail of wild. But if you both taking drugs it together, it doesn't matter. Y'all both drugged up, right? Well, both of you are drugged up. I'm going to tell you something. I don't like to really get into this because I am myself a victim of... Um, Team that said being touched inappropriately right. and things of that nature and because I have been in that situation before I'm not necessarily saying I side with these women and I'm not necessarily saying I don't side with them but because I've been in that situation before I have to be mindful of what I say because I remember when I told my story even though it was years later people didn't believe me Right. right. Okay. Because you have to understand, just because something happened to you right away, you may not be ready to tell nobody That's true. that this happened to you. That's it true. sometimes may take 20, 30 years. And you think about Bill Cosby and the status of what Bill Cosby has been since we were kids. Right. Imagine Bill Cosby raping you. Right. Think about that Sandusky man. Right. You you have to you have to put yourself in the side of the victim. But unless you have been down that path or that road before, and most African American <laughs> girls can attest to what I'm saying, family members have done this. To so, them. And it takes a while for the story to come out. It does. So, it really, really does. So let me ask you this question then, because I seen this on Instagram. You know, every, like a lot of truth is on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. so, Instagram is the new so, news. So, so, right. so, it is. so I seen an interesting, uh, interesting post. So, and it said that if we're gonna go back to put Bill Cosby on trial, right? Oh, everybody got to go on trial. So, what I'm about sure slavery? I mean, because, oh, at the, that, because, that, because at, at the end of the day, yeah. at the end of the day, but those people dead. Ty, Bill, I mean, but still, like they they may be dead, but there's still things that I mean, like like this. They, they, justice and justice can still be served. Yeah, justice can. You be see served what I'm saying? It can still be served because it's got from human that because, slavery. Exactly. Slavery now. So so at and the end of the day, getting, once they are caught, they get prosecuted. Here's the thing: we getting caught up in too much of the stuff at all. At yes. the end of the day. Yeah. At the end of the day, had either one of these women been y'all brother, I mean sister, mother, cousin, whatever, female wise, mm -hmm. y'all would not have that same sentiment for him. But we looking oh, at wow. the fact that he be a cause, but at the end of the day, he's a man. Thank it's like you. when Bishop Eddie Long was Thank when, you. when Bishop you know, R.I.P. Bishop Eddie Long, but when that whole scandal with him came up messing with those boys, yeah. yes. when they were yeah. younger, yes. and everybody saying, oh, that's Eddie Long. No, Eddie Long is still a man. Right. Yes. Look at the legitimacy yeah. of it. It's only It only hits home when it's personal to you. Exactly. Exactly. So for me, when the whole thing came out, granted, I feel bad for the little blind old man. Yeah, he took his degrees. He ain't got no degrees no more. His honorary degrees is gone from Templeton. Yeah, they took everything. <laughs> they took everything. They stripped it. I mean, yeah. well, they should. I mean, they and, should. and people but. don't realize that, you know, um, <laughs> I hate to bring this up, but uh, Illuminati. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let me tell you something. Bill Cosby is worth $800 million, and that was back in 2016-15. Yeah. So... By the time <laughs> this whole, like, this is recent money. Right. Yeah. Bill Cosby was getting ready to buy stake into NBC. Mm. Mm. The powers that be weren't going to let that happen with a black man. And that's why this whole that's thing came whole up. Thing. That's why this whole thing came <laughs> up. So it's not the yep. fact that he didn't do it. Right. It's the fact of why it all came up now. now. It's coming at and so the Illuminati used my homeboy Hannibal Burns as a pawn. Right. Oh, when he Hannibal. came to Philadelphia, mm. Pennsylvania to perform, he brought that up. It wasn't until he mentioned that in his stand-up routine that 
now the resurfacing of it all and see that that goes back to social media social media can be your upside Man. or your downside oh boy boy it could tell on you <laughs> in every shape form of fashion I right mean, every i mean for real but at the end of the day what you reap you know we reap what you sow right what you put so, out there, you so if you sow a quaaludes you gonna reap what presents Period. in it Right. So this is evidence. So you reap them quite loose. You drop them down off up in them. And it was how many years later? Yo, how many years later? It's decades. 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 Some women. It started like in the sixties when he was on. Um, what's what's the show Electric that he had? Um, uh, not Dragnet, but it was the show I Spy or something with the white guy and they was partners. They were. No, no, I think y'all know what I'm talking about. I know, no, I know what y'all talking about. Right with the white guy, they, they actually made a movie. They made right. a movie at one They made a movie about it, not with Bill Cosby, but later on with other people. But it was a show these come Up-town on. Side? No, no, no I think it was I Spy. I think it was called I Spy, if I'm not mistaken. It was one of those little cop shows back in the 60s. And then Sidney Poitier, he did a uh, cop oh, okay. shows okay. and stuff That's with him back then and stuff, you know. Um, I, I know worthless information. I'm sorry. No, nah, that's not worthless. worthless. That's not worthless. Like, I, like, I just I just read and I'm an internet junkie and I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Like, my daughter is, like, really on my case right now. Not to change the subject. From <laughs> Hi, daughter. But we still in celebrity news and I feel like this lady yes. is a celebrity. On YouTube, there is this lady called Dr. Pimple Popper. Have y'all ever heard of her? Uh-uh. And <laughs> she is a doctor. She's a dermatologist. And she literally... Like, Google her, like, for real. Like, she be literally popping pimples on mm. camera. And I sit and watch this nightly and go to bed watching it and wake up, go pee, and still, I like, oh, miss that video. That's a new one. <laughs> Let me see it. Let me see it ripple out. Oh, God, no. And she presses it. And I'm mm. like, oh, I'm so disgusted. You know and I be at work. I be at work eating lunch, watching Dr. Pimple Pop. And somebody I'm like, what you watching? I'm like, girl, look, this is a good one. It's a poor whiner. Okay. Hey, hey, okay. You know what's crazy? I'm sorry. Hey, look, no, no, no. She is like so serious because I'm just gonna tell you right now. Uh, no, 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 no. I just punched in Doctor Pi. That's it, Doctor Space Pi. And I'm gonna just tell you what just came up. Okay. Come on with it. Doctor Pimple uh, Proper Blackhead Extraction. Yes, the blackheads are the best. Cause there be like a lot of them, and then they just be uh, popping like, white heads. Ooh, yes, and you know a blackhead is different yeah. from a whitehead. The reason why it's it called is. a blackhead is because it's been exposed to the air and it has um hardened, and then the whitehead is when it's first formed. Yeah, keep going. Uh, now, I don't think I want to see none of this shit. I don't want to watch it. Actually, but, but you know what's crazy? But it's yeah. interesting. It it is very interesting. Very you know what's crazy? Some people who may actually be interested in Dr. Going to Dr. See Dr. Her. Pepper Popper, Sandra she Lee. Actually she actually has a show on TLC now. So she just professionally popped you. Go watch one. Go watch one. Let's see. Let's see which one is it. All right. Let's see if I seen them before. <laughs> I just want to yeah, know, you guys. Good. Have you guys heard of a nursing home where the elderly are being eaten alive? Eaten alive? Yes. Like, like, this was like on some NBC. cannabis stuff? This was, mm-hmm. this was on NBC, the late feed. Like cannibal? It was, <laughs> cannibal but like the shit? <laughs> a 93-year-old like. woman. A 93-year-old woman died in 2015 from scabies. Mice were eating her alive. This well, that's facility, not all there. That's not all these facilities, the Pruitt Health Facilities, they have over three dozen cases of, um, well, I say violations, and several of them are where the elderly are being eaten alive at the nursing home. By animals and stuff? By the mice. By the rodents and yeah, stuff. Yeah, by mm-hmm. rodents. Oh, I thought you were talking about people, girl. It's I was in Lafayette, Georgia. It is in Lafayette, Georgia. It is so in Lafayette. So you just going to put Lafayette on the map like that? You, you just going to... Take your loved ones to Lafayette. It's out there on the news, so why not share it? Because you never know who may actually need to hear this. We have a lot of people who have their um, their friends and family members that have passed away from this. Yeah, yeah. Because they were eating alive. Yeah. 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 Yeah
What? I mean, ain't nobody really eating them, but oh, how is it? Because they're not local um, entities. Public health communities are the ones who are required to go into these local they facilities. Because they're private facilities a lot of times. they're time. private most of the time. Right, so right. Yeah. technically is not required to even check right. behind them to make sure Because the public is not through. coming in and eating and stuff like that. So when you're dealing with the health department, it, mm-hmm. it doesn't transcend to every business that serves food. So I It's mean, living quarters. So how do you deal with that when you are in a situation where you have someone like Well, first of all, why they ain't got bad why they want berry? Like where your where your insurance at? But you know what I found out though about insurance. When insurance. You, right, insurance. Well, I had. Well, I'm gonna need you to stop doing English, teacher. <laughs> stop correcting people. But anyway, I didn't correct you. I said I found it just out like when you. people get a certain age, like if they had, like if they bought policies, like when they were younger, and when they get to a certain age, do you know those policies start to depreciate? So if you live to be like 90 something years old and your policy start to depreciate around 80 something, real talk. Mm-hmm. Because they don't expect for you to live that long. So as you live in longer, the, the value of your policy goes down. And if you get to the point where you just outlive the whole policy, Damn. You, yes. you screwed. That's messed up. Thank God you can cremate people for $800. I can, get, I can come up on $800. Why he don't own that shit? I can come up on $800 quick. She said, oh, oh, she, she knows who she at. I know. Hold that out, baby. I can come up on eight hundred dollars quick. She been surrounded. That's that's what's up though. So really, like maybe it was a situation where the family stay. So you can outlive your family. You know that's what I'm saying? True. Yeah. You can outlive your family. So maybe she had no insurance, and the rats. They just said, well, we will just let the rats eat them. They hungry. It's not even. I wonder if they ate her inside out or outside in. I wonder how they ate her. You think they went up there and just ate out? Just ate out. Just ate all out. Just ate all out. The day is losing. You know, you feed, you were feeding it to. I see. I knew where she was going. Yes. I'm gonna feed it to. Yeah. The day is losing. Okay. Woke up. She was like Christ. What that? She she died on she died on the cross, but she rose on Easter Sunday. You know. Hallelujah. Tabernacle Church. <laughs> At Studio 21. At Studio 21. <laughs> Millionaire Minds, baby. I'm putting yes. my consent in. I like yeah, it. Right. I'm digging um, it. Don't go anywhere. We will go ahead and take a five minute break. Yes. Let you guys get your water. Go get ahead and snacks. share the video. Make sure that you are tuning in and um, being interactive. We will be doing our shout outs in the second hour. We will be bringing up our special guest, Miss J. Renee with a spoon yeah. on the mic to give us a little bit more information. I may she even kick a rhyme. I may even uh-huh. kick a I, I, I may do a freestyle for y'all. I may do a freestyle. I've been working on it. I've been working on my freestyle skills. I'm excited to hear that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so y'all don't go anywhere, all right? Stay tuned right here with Millionaire Minds with our Two Cents radio show on WAENFM.com. Don't go anywhere. Oh, that's what's up. This is a DJ Hurricane exclusive. DJ Hurricane. DJ Hurricane. Got a blood full of weed in the wax. That's my hell of a combination. Wayne and Rob on the track. That's my hell of a combination. And we getting out of stash. Got no time for procrastination. Why the fuck these niggas think a nigga ain't nobody gonna run the nation? Reels got me sitting high like a cease in the nosebleed. I'm ballin' in San Antonio, feelin' like I'm Ginobili. Only fuck that hard when I'm in a mood. Pop a head on light in the tube. With the ass spin on the mic. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
grind so hard, need to buy a pair of pants. Want a QP, not honey for the big. I got it for the low, but it's full of straight gas. Time being broke, had to get up off my ass. Do it for my loved ones, not for the cash. Niggas stay broke for some fly ass clothes, but me, I brought the pants to spend my last. You niggas on ass. Happens for real, not just rap shit happens for real. We chase at the meal, stack up these bills. This dress can't kill, might need a appeal. I move by myself, cause most of it's real. I don't get it. Everybody in the street said it with it. Until they get jammed up and you can't man up, not a pussy nigga scared to go to prison. One last thing I forgot to mention. And if you broke, man, you need to pay attention. Fuck your souls, get your dough, cause you already know if you broke, then I ain't fucking with you. Woo! I'm about to go fucking with broke niggas. 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 I'm, I'm a part of the barber gang. I'm 39 years old. My mom be like, I hate Cardi B. Mama like, golly, you too old. I'm like, no, I'm not. Cardi is the shit. I, I like Cardi. I love Cardi. I like Cardi. I like Cardi. Cardi. I always say that. Cardi is the shit. She don't put no fuss on. She don't put no fuss on. She really don't. And did y'all hear her album? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That invasion y'all of y'all 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 My favorite y'all song is Brick It. <laughs> Brick It. I love Brickin, I love Be Careful, I love, who Jesus, uh, I love, I like it like that, when she redid that one, I was like, oh, like it, like it, uh-huh. I love Cardi, man, that's my chick. What's up, Callie? Uh, oh, oh, shoot, oh. <laughs> oh, I thought it was something off, though. <laughs> nah, like, you make it nervous. I nah, you don't play nervous. I just didn't know what y'all I don't play. I don't play. You got a ring on the plane. Hey, look, oh, man. I ain't got nothing. Hey, look, we going to get to these shout outs real quick, all right? We're going to get to these shout outs. Starting off with, man, shout out, shout out my brother, Reason Hot 107. Nine, tune into his show every Monday between 2 to 10. Also, we going to shout out. Cr- and my partner. Yeah, that's my partner. We're going to shout out Club 63, 63, 40. This Friday, this Friday, Big Cinco Day, Mile Day Party. Also, follow, also with the Cuts and Comedy. Telly is gonna be crazy. Yeah. Free admission, free parking, everything. Bro. Red carpet. Free, red carpet. We're giving away free oh, shots. That. Free $3 shots. $3 dollar margaritas. $3 oh, that. That's Green exactly what we're gonna do. Properly. Shout out to my cousin DP who had surgery today. Hey, we're praying for you. And uh also he had a birthday yesterday as well, too. Happy uh, shout out to Johnny Henderson, David Price, uh Judy Eccles. Yes. A uh, cousin on the toy, we love it. Judy! Uh, Pittsburgh in the house. Mad Dog, Channing Anderson. Well, Channing Monet. Shout out to you, Michael Shelton. Yes. Uh, Jonathan. Hi. Jonathan Mad Dog. Also, shout out to Jonathan's uh, son. Jonathan, uh, uh, Jonathan Jr., who is graduating, who's graduating this weekend uh, and is uh, actually college majoring in college. And is majoring in right. computer engineering. Oh, we That's need great. Shout out to Plain Cigarillo, Racks to Riches, Block E and T. My man, my man Jamal Sampson, uh, Simpson. Also, uh, Miss Coco. My Coco. Shout out to you, baby girl. And shout out to, shout out to my favorite couple. Can I shout out some people? Yes. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> and if you want to, hold on. They can't tell you. you can't. I can shout out. Okay. What? Well, I, I, I do a five people limit. I do five people. Shout out to my aunt Mary and Martha, who um is my they are my rock since my mom passed. I want to give a big shout out to them because they make sure that my little girl stays in line. Because I think if me and my little girl lived alone without my nannies, um she'll be dead. Wow. Like for real, like not dead for neglect, dead by by my hands. Wow! <laughs> because they keep me in, in line. They you know got me right with God and um 
I'm a now urshin my church. I ain't, I ain't urshin in some months because I ain't been going to church because I be staying out too late on Saturday night trying to do that stand up thing. But however, I'm a I'm a urshin at heart. Right. So shout out to uh, Auntie Mary and Auntie Martha. I love them to pieces. And if y'all ever need prayer, come to uh, Auntie Mary and Martha. Just call and be like, hey, tell your aunties to put me on the prayer list because they prayed for me another job, baby, and I got that thing. Now they praying for the other stuff. I talk about it in later on but anyway thank you for letting um, me do my shout out babe. no because we're going to go ahead and go right into your uh exclusive interview uh oh um, yes, because like y'all didn't send me no questions you. didn't okay. even give me a chance to prep this is like <laughs> this is here. we provide a platform where we will conduct business properly but at the end of the day no you can ask me some tough to, questions i don't care we want you i'm an open book yeah i'm an open we book tell that to everyone who has come into this studio and sat with no, no. us even to sit whether it's an exclusive interview or not like they after they come all it takes is one time yeah they I'm really really up. love us so, yeah i'm off and we're fine because we're gonna do a lightning round with you too okay what come on with it lightning round come on with it <laughs> all right, so I how many times you been arrested um uh, i've actually been arrested twice <laughs> oh, shit. both for the same crime <laughs> failure to pay your seatbelt ticket so you don't wear your seat belt. so you don't have some warrants Right, I had I had what they call bench warrants. Right. Oh my God. Yeah, I had. I you had, said fuck going to court. Well, I didn't know because like by the time they sent the paperwork, I had I wouldn't even. I told you I'm I'm an illegal resident of Georgia, so they sent everything to Alabama, and my people ain't telling me because they don't open up a mail because that's against the law. Right. right. So somebody, somebody following the law. Somebody following the law because it's damn sure ain't me. And then you know it is what it is. So at the end of the day. Meanwhile, on the ranch, I'd have been locked up twice. Uh, first bid I did was about 14 hours, 22 minutes, 37 seconds oh over in uh, County of Ben Buster, a.k.a. Cobb County. Oh, yeah. Shout out to uh, Sergeant oh. Taylor, who locked me up on some BS one night. I was just leaving Papa Do's, had, had one of them alligator drinks, and uh, lucky enough, thank God, for peppermint <laughs> and a penny, because he ain't smell a thing on me. Oh, mustard, wow. mustard, mustard. Look, mustard. got out the car. Got out the car. Got to tell a story. Got out the car. So he pulls me over. My tag, I had got the car from the auction. So, you know, they ain't got the tag on the back of the car. They had it in the window. He claimed he didn't see it. Lies. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Lies. So, he pulls me over. He's like, uh, driver's license, please. Uh, where you headed from? I was like, I'm just leaving my homegirl house because I had set up me an in-town staycation. Had got me a room at, at, at the Hilton for uh, for about forty dollars for the night. So I had me, I was gonna have a little vacation, go get my hair braided. Had, I was sitting on my income tax check. I'm feeling good, you know. It's after the fifteenth of April. I'm the only in the most, in the in the whole mob squad that's rich right now. I'm not rich. I'm sitting on I'm a thousand now. Meanwhile. I didn't know the protocol when police pull you over. If they say step out the car, that's not good. I, I, I step out the car all right. You know, I step out, he said, step to the back of the car. I said, oh, okay, cool. I'll, so no problem. I step to the back of the car. He said, turn around. I said, okay. So I turns around. In the meantime, I turn around. He said, put your hands on your back. I said, hold up. What we doing here? What we doing? He said, uh, so um, your license is suspended. I was like, okay, but. They don't do this back home. Your license is suspended. They just say, hey, go get them fixed and let right. you go. Right. He's like, no, we're required to lock you up and call. So meanwhile, another car pulls up. I said, well, you ain't going to take me to the prison? He was like, nah, my my officer going to take it. So he was like, uh, do you have anybody that you say you had somebody to live around here? Can they come get your car? I'm like, no, can you go get them? Do you know that officer? Now, granted, I did go to jail, but this is where I have to come in uh, our Caucasian officers, okay? Just a, this is not for all of them. This for these two Caucasian officers. Okay. These two, just these two. Just y'all two. Just y'all two. Bugger, bugger all y'all. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but these two officers, the the sergeant who was the one initially put me out, and then the deputy is the one who took me to jail. Uh, the sergeant went and picked my homegirl up from her house, brought her back to my car so she can drive the car to the house that he went to. Her. Wow. And I'm gonna tell you the flip side is, nigga, you only did that because you felt guilty. Because you knew it was some bullshit. You knew it was just a seatbelt ticket. You knew you could have actually let me go. You hadn't read nothing because I ain't have an official license plate on there yet. Oh, wow. It's their discretion. So anybody it is who's their out there, so let's keep in mind, it is the police officer's discretion to lock you up in that. It is. It's their discretion. It they is. do not. They, they, they will tell you, well, once we bring your information, we have to do it. No, you don't. 
I wish I'd have met somebody who discretionary wasn't to lock me up. <laughs> tip number one. Tip those, number one. For, for a lot of people really don't know. Because, I mean, he felt guilty. Yeah. There was nothing there. Like, because, like, when I got in the car with uh, Officer Carruthers, I don't remember his name. I got in the car with him. He's like, right. this is bullshit. I got to do all this damn paperwork. I was like, what is it? Because I didn't really know at the time why my license was suspended. He's like, it's just a fucking seatbelt ticket. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm in the car with you for seatbelt. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, put the seatbelt on me now. Right, and then right. we can call it even and let right, me go. Right. I was like, well, just let me out on the side of the road. I'll call my people. I'll figure out how to. He was like, I can't. He was like, if it would have been me that pulled you over, I would have not have took you in. He said, it's a Friday night. We got too much going on. Right. You know what? I got out of a ticket like that because it was Friday night on Sunset Boulevard. It was my birthday. Mm-hmm. Turned up. And oh yeah, no, I was turned up because the person next to me wasn't. They fumbled, snitched, all that stuff. Oh my god. What? Long story. Long story. Right. No, 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 no. What I think was, what I think was, and let me not say the word snitch. All I think what it is is that two different lives, but you you you're not prepared for what just really what was going on at this particular time. So, right, right. So so where one will handle something in the different way right what you did you thought was right but technically wasn't right but because you're not used to being in that environment Mm -hmm. so i'm not going to use the word snitched but what i will say is you folded a little bit but it was my fault not you not you not you i I, I, I was snitching on about that cop but i will snitch because i never want to be back in that situation again looking up i was but that cop (laughs) said that he said the same exact thing. It was on Sunset Boulevard. He was like, what else you got in the car? I was like, nothing, just a little green. He said, Sunset Boulevard, that's all you got? Just going to get this ticket up out the way. Get, go on get you on your way. Because nothing, it was my birthday. From out of town. Um, it's a little yeah. buddy. I already knew what it was. I remember, I'm from L.A. But when I got pulled right, up, that's what's up. Yes, I've been there before. It's so dusty looking. Oh, I'm going back next week. Don't talk about my home. No, so, I'm just saying it just look dirty. It's like like they don't look like it's on TV. Don't talk about my home. So <laughs> man, they got the best second. barbecue on Crenshaw Boulevard. There's a little shack place. You just walk up to it and go in there. And then you have to eat your food in your car because nowhere to sit in there. Don't <laughs> talk about my home. <laughs> and then you can wash and swap me. You from yeah, Mobile? Yeah. You can get as many irregular dresses as you want. Hey, our slots and swap me is almost as big as Mobile, Alabama. I know it is. I'm just saying, though, like real talk, like I'm, I'm, I'm in it to win it. And LA stand up, man. LA stand up. I, 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 you already know. I, 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 I Everybody want to go to LA. I got people out there. I got people out there. My uncle lives in uh, LA. Well, not fully LA, but it's like Rosetta. Rosetta, Rosetta, California. Rosetta. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 Rosetta. Rosetta. And then I got a uh, aunt that lives in um, Huntington. Hunter. It's not too far, I man. Yeah. You know, I got a home nice brother lives in Sacramento. Shout out to Bobby Thompson. I used to have a crush on him. Still does, probably. Yeah, probably do the way. Yeah, but she just said. Yeah, she did that. Yeah, yeah, she still yeah, got a crush. And she, and she, and she, and she know where you. And she know where you stay too. She said, "Shout out to Sacramento," so she know exactly where you at. Absolutely. He lives so. in the capital. Look, she. Mm. All right. I used to have knowing that the capital is Sacramento. No one, no one gives a damn. No Nobody cares. may not care, but that's what Hold on. Do. do you know what the real capital of LA is? Yeah, L- Compton. Exactly. I told you I told you I mess with LA dog. Exactly. Real talk. All right, I so love San Francisco too. I do want to know Miss uh J. Renee. Mm-hmm. We're definitely gonna switch that up. Because I want to know more about her. Switch See what she got going on. Yes. Miss J. Renee. He forgot he had a kiss, honey. That's right. It's okay. Go home. It's okay. Well, hold on, it's what okay. did I just do? <laughs> Hilarious. No, I'm really lost now. What did I do? No, you didn't do that. She just said she was going to switch back and she wants, she really wants to know more about me. Because I want to know about this tour. Oh. The comedy tour that you have coming up. Okay, so here's the thing. You know, in the comedy business, we always, and I've been kind of putting this, keeping this under wraps, and it's, it's mighty strange that True will have me on his show, and now I have to talk about it. It's like I can't keep it hidden. Uh, I was very notorious known for like the minute I think of an idea, I put it out on social media. So I had to learn from my mistakes and stop doing that. And um, I had mentioned it. So in the last four years or so, I've been really wanting to put together a tour and kick it off in my hometown, which is Mobile, Alabama. So I'm riding home from Charleston from a show um, about a month ago. And I'm on the phone with my homie, Mr. Bush. 
And that's all I'm gonna call him. Y'all ass gonna start trying to look up Mr. Bush. <laughs> Don't reach <laughs> out to my baby. Don't reach out to my baby. But uh, <laughs> so um, he was like, I was like, I want to put something together for my hometown, and he was like, okay. He was like, give me a budget. So I sat down at my computer at work. Notice I said at work. Right. <laughs> okay. Edward. Utilizing this. Utilizing Excel right. spreadsheet. <laughs> Sat down, got the budget together, and I sent it over. I'm just waiting on his response. I've been just asking God and saying thank you for letting him be the first investor because the tour is going to kick off in Mobile and every um, and I'm gonna do it every month of current. It's gonna be my version of what a tour is. I'm I'm gonna utilize my hometown to bring talent down there for my people to laugh because they need laughter. Yeah. In my hometown, you know, they need cheering up, especially in the aftermath of this whole situation with old girl in the Waffle House situation. So, uh, bringing the tour to Mobile, um, we're looking at projected start date August, September. You know, uh, summertime is never a good time to have comedy shows because niggas on vacation and they ain't got time. Going to parties. Yeah, going to parties. You, you want to catch them when they just sit them cheering back to school. Yeah, I said they cheering. Time. And, sure. Right, I said cheering. They want to send the children back to school, and they need an outlet. So just going to bring it down, and it's basically uh, Jerry Nate presents the Chitlin Circuit Comedy Tour. Yeah, That's going to be bananas. Yeah, bringing it Chitlin. back. Oh, bringing it back, you know what I'm saying? Because you have to understand, you know, we live in a day and age of the Internet comic. You know, it's based on how many followers you got. Right. Well, here's my thing. I don't care how many followers you got or have or don't have at the end of the day. Right. If you go out and talk to people and you got the gift of gab, they'll support whatever you're doing. Yes. It's all in how you approach people. And every everybody like a deal. Yes. So my goal is is um, eventually have the investors, get them out the way after a few months, and then I get to take over the whole thing myself because, like I explained to my investor, there's going to be a return on this for you. Right. It ain't just you giving me money to have this. The right. return, when the, you going to get your return, you going to get your money back plus a percentage of the return off of it, and then you can step away from the whole thing, and I right. got it. Right. Because my goal is to get sponsors. Right. Yes. You know, I don't have to pay them back. You you come set up shop at the show. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. So the goal is to have do three cities down lower Alabama, then hit central Alabama, add another three cities for the following weekend. Go to North Alabama, add another three cities, and just keep it going, and then eventually move out to other states. I was just going to ask you that. So within a year's time, I'm projecting some six-figure money income, and then officially within three months, um, my plan and I talked to God about it. We're walking away from 95. Yes. Three months yes. after the tour kicks off. Because yes. I'm going to be a sister on the road traveling, you yes. know, with my daughter in the back seat. Go, go put them flies on them cars over there at that old apartment complex. <laughs> Get your ass out the car. <laughs> Mama, I'm tired. I don't care. <laughs> Mama, I got to go to school in the morning. I don't give a fuck. We in the cave of Alabama right now. I'm going to put these flies out there. I bring you back. You you going to get to school on time. You can sleep on the way back home. Like the cave of Alabama. Is there a Decatur Alabama? Yeah, it's a Decatur Alabama. Real? Real talk. Just like it's a Birmingham, London, England. Uh, Birmingham, England. I do know that. But yeah. yeah. It's, transcend. It's, a tra it's a Decatur Alabama, baby. Is it like a Decatur out here? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get robbed over there like you would in the East Side. But you know what? Shout out to my fellas in, uh, in, in the East Side. You know, I, 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 I help with them dudes on the East Side. Them dudes on the East Side take to the chit chat by your drink. Shout out, Gresham Road. Stand up. Chit chat. Shout out. Okay. Um, the Walmart on Gresham is so hood. I don't know, man. I used to stay on Gresham Road, too. But the Walmart on Gresham is so hood. I, I, I mean, that is, the, that is the cleanest, hoodest Walmart I've ever been to. Shout out to Bigger Lows on Gresham Road. Woo! Bigger Lows across the street from, uh, what's that club that. called? I don't know anything. What's the no club that used to be a cafeteria back in the day? What's that club called across the street? Uh, <laughs> real big. It's huge. The Elf Line? No, nah, not that. Nah, it used to be, uh, uh, it was like Vault. a young club. No. Vault. That's the one I'm but, talking about. But it was something else before Vault. Like it used to be called like the Libra. It was the Libra, was the Libra oh, before it was. It was the Libra oh. first, and then it, I, and then I, it became I the Vault. That. I performed that before. Oh, um, you got Joe's Craft. You got Joe's uh, bar over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah Joe's bar. Um, my boy Mario Tour used to host the room over there. Oh, and I also have coming up this weekend. I have uh, this week I have an event. Um, shout out to my girl Georgia Me. The real Georgia Me on Instagram. Anybody familiar with her? She's a well-renowned poet, um, Grammy Award winner. 
poet. Mm. Lives here in the, in the A. Was on Deaf Poets multiple times. Oh, wow. So if you don't know Georgia me, you ain't you ain't down. You ain't down for the cause. Wow. You ain't woke. <laughs> you ain't woke. Where you gotta you? be woke. Oh, you ain't woke. But um, yeah, I got the Tamiko Festival coming up. Um, this is a festival she has every year. I'm looking for the flyer so that I can um, discuss it because I got to get. I want to get a location so people can come out and really support what this sister is doing. Okay. You know, my thing is, people say well, I'm doing big things, but what, what things are you really doing? You know, are you doing anything to help the community? Right, are you right, doing anything to help anybody? Right. So most people aren't though. Um, then uh, it's basically the night that I'll be there will be on Thursday, this Thursday, May 3rd, at Johnny M's Pizza Bistro Rooftop at 904 MLK Junior Drive, Atlanta, Georgia, 30314 for us Google Mappers. Google Yeah, um, we're gonna have a lot of people in the building, and uh, even a part of her, too. I think, um, uh, Jill Scott coming through. Oh, wow, yeah, for her festival. Yeah, she do this area like this is big. It's All called right, Tamika well, Fest. Make sure you come out. Tamika Fest. Make sure you guys come out. Are you going to be posting that information on your page? If so, it's already on there. I'll reshare it again. Yeah, and just tag us on it. Well, I don't know how to do all that. We'll, we'll, we'll teach you after the show. Yeah. <laughs> after the show. Uh, just go to my page and just steal it like everybody else did. Oh, everybody steal it? Yeah, like the dudes on POF. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Ooh. Ooh. My bad. My bad. Plenty of fish. <laughs> I do have one more question, and then I want you to give everybody your social media information so that they can follow and steal the post, okay? Yeah, that's what's up. So about your clothing apparel, TJP Apparel. Yeah, TJP is something I started back in 2015. It started out with just T-shirts and camisoles. So it's now um, metamorphs into loungewear for ladies. Ooh. Yeah, you know, like how we want to run to the grocery store, but we got our pajamas on, so we don't really want to go. I mean, like real ladies do this. Yeah. Women will go to the store in their pajamas. So um, the thing is, is that once the tour kicks off, then I'll really be able to invest the money that I need to do to launch that line right. and really broaden it the way I want to. Okay. Oh, you did your research. I'm so I impressed. Baby, look. I got a question. You've been on my you know, POL page? Look, I don't know about POL. So, I got it. You got a man. Yeah. I don't have a man, okay. but I'm just saying. I ain't I got no man, so I'll be on POL. Trying to get, I got to <laughs> get free meals. I got a question, and I hope you do. Do you have any FBSAs? Oh, FBSAs. Oh, okay. <laughs> so FBSA is what we call Fat Bitch Service Announcement. It, it started out as Fat Bitch in 2015. <laughs> FBSA. FBSA. Like a PSA, but it's an FBSA. Wow. So Fat Bitch Service Announcement started in 2000, at, towards the end of 2015. And how I was inspired was is I got tired of looking at big girls on social media posting these side pictures with these flat asses and these big old bellies. And so the, the initial FBSA was uh, in reference to uh, women needing to wear girdles and waist trainers and cinchos. Mm -hmm. And it just metamorphed into not me just talking about what big women do, but what bothers me as a big woman. Right. So one of the um, things that I used to talk about um, that bothered me was people that post their food on social media and they should be on dirty plates. <laughs> you know how it be like the shit don't look presentable. Like I know your greens good, but your shit look like you just threw up on your greens. Like like your homeboy did. You're like throwing up greens. Like a mixture of like you sitting there posting this on there, like your sh like your food is amazing, and I'm thinking to myself, bitch, I can't smell it. It looks like shit right here. You know, presentation is everything. Like I used to always say, put on like put on a square plate or something. You know what I'm saying? I got a home girl on Instagram, man. She always posts food. I be want to say, I be like, man, if it was an unlike button on Instagram. <laughs> you know what? Oh, she said, and you know what? Tell How many Shane people sell right it? Tell the truth, Shane the Devil. Right. Like I was so glad that Facebook came up with those different. Um, emojis for when you liking something because I'd be angry facing everybody. Like, no, you did without saying it. I'm letting you know you ain't shit, you know. Yeah, so FBSA, um, I, I am so inspired. You want me to do one? Yes, please. Okay, so I'm feeling really inspired right now. Yes, you should definitely. I had a uh, situation that happened over the weekend that I uh, I, I found out that I'm somebody's girlfriend. What? Oh, yeah, I found out I got a man over the weekend. Let me tell y'all what happened. So, 
FB, <laughs> Fat Bit Service Announcement. Fat Bit Service Announcement. It ain't nothing like going to the club and your man have a bitch trying to holler at him. And she all next to him, cuddled up with him, thinking that she finna get in the game. And when Bay, meaning me, says she finna leave, Bay gets up and hugs and kisses on me and caresses on me real good. Okay. Okay. He caressing me and holding me. Meanwhile, on the ranch, you sitting back there salty. Okay. <laughs> See, what you did know is the big bitch in the club actually do and can pull somebody. Right. Okay, and I ain't talking about big bitch mean the big old ass. I'm talking about big bad built bitch. Okay, <laughs> big Sherry Shepherd face looking ass bitch. Okay, Sherry Shepherd built. Okay, okay, titties with no ass. Okay, walking around here with a flat stomach, flat ass with all these titties and back fat. <laughs> okay, he with me because I give him, I serve him bonus titties. Okay, okay. okay. So what you need to understand <laughs> is hunting. No matter how much ass you got back there that you ain't really cleaning it well because it's too much ass and your arms don't seem that long. Mm. Meanwhile, it's me he wants. <laughs> See, boo, he just going to serve you like a client, okay? You just going to be a client for him. See, I don't do what you do, but you do what he do. So, of course, he going to give you conversation because you put the guap in his pocket. Mm. Meanwhile, on the ranch. They over here, the only thing she do is drink water. When he walked through the door, baby, he asked everybody what did they want to drink. You, on the other hand, thought it was special because you got that late. Well, he just saw a new person come in the section, baby. He just offered you some, Hunter. <laughs> Hunter. Meanwhile, on the red sis, let me, I'm talking to you because they don't even understand the concept of what I'm talking about. He offered you because he's a gentleman. He saw you came in last, so now you thinking that y'all are together. Now you think you got a chance. You ain't got a chance with this, girl. I swallow souls. Oh I swallow God. babies. Okay? I solidified that with one stroke. One stroke. I'm a one stroke one. Not a one hit one, but a one stroke one. Swallow souls out of. Swallow souls. I'm a soul swallower. Hashtag that. Hashtag soul swallower. Hashtag swallow them babies. For my FBSA. Hashtag FBSA. Soul swallow. That big service announcement. Service announcement. Yes, FBSA. T shirt coming to a store near you. Now, where can they follow you? Um, um, you can follow me on everything social media under comedian J. Renee Witherspoon, comedian uh, J. Renee 0109 on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Um, I just got back on Snapchat. For all my fellas that used to love when I do um, Top Heavy Titty Thursday, I will not be doing that with some more because I am now usher in church, so I cannot give Top Titty. <laughs> Top titty, top titty Tuesday, then Thursday. Because what I used to do is I uh, I was the president of uh, Thought Bill, Thought Nation, and um, I had to resign my position when I got saved. Same. Yeah. Wrong with it. I'm filled. Amen. I'm filled. Amen. You know I am. I, I, I got saved for real. Yeah. Like, for real. Like, I'm a usher in my church. Like, real talk. Like, I got a little pen and everything. I was in training. I read over my scriptures and word. And, yeah, I got I got appointed and I and baby I be you know I got a little song y'all want to hear it? yes like here here it go okay turn turn that down the name of the song is called do the usher it's a line dance oh my God. okay about to drop that EP on SoundCloud CD baby real soon. we usher these people in we usher these folks out. I tell that little girl to spit that gum out your mouth. <laughs> I don't remember the rest. You lying. <laughs> you lying. Then it's a song, right? I don't remember the rest of it. I ain't got it with me. But listen, though, for real, though, I'm really going to release this song. We going in, and we going to go on tour with the uh, do the Usher. Like, that, that shit going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Yeah. And, and Cali. 
you gonna want to fuck with me. He gonna like he sit here now like don't fuck with me. <laughs> After this song hit, and I become number two on the Snoop Dogg gospel album. We putting the clock sisters out of business. Wait, oh, let me, oh let me stop. Let me stop. Cause they bought them. Bought them. That gospel community came for people. When when yeah. William said something about the clock sisters, so my apologies, homage to the clock sisters, <laughs> Kurt Franklin and the crew. Kurt Frank, you still be uh watching that porno? Oh. 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 Speaking of porno, <clears throat> did y'all know large, um, oh. uh, Rihanna has a, a lingerie out now, and her sizes go from two to three X. Uh -huh. Rihanna. Okay, so first of all, if Rihanna putting that lingerie and she putting that lingerie for three X women, I hope it ain't the same look that the uh, small <laughs> size. Got I really hope it ain't because, because what I don't want to see is a woman in a slingshot. Because right. you know, you ever seen shallow hair? Yeah. Remember, remember when shallow hair thought that the girl was skinny, uh -huh. but when she took a draw off, he's like, "What did you do?" Because <laughs> yeah, it was like this big, but really she was this big in his head. Yeah. Lord, they said it's that different would be styles awesome. and everything. Though. So she put out that rich future well for I the guess, big girls. I guess so, but they allegedly is tasteful and classy and cute. I guess That's tasteful, classy, and that. cute. That's what's up. Yeah. Come on, we'll Riri. We'll they said on um her page what on Instagram. What are they gonna be selling at uh, Rainbow? I don't know. But they said oh, okay. that, um you can see the um the the, the model for her on Rihanna's. Um, Instagram page. Oh, that's what's up. And she's up. wearing it's a it's a plus size model. She's wearing the little. Oh, that's teddy. what's up. Oh, okay, oh, so she got like an Ashley Graham like type of model up there. Okay, I yeah. got it. Oh lord. <laughs> but it but it said um, they said it, it looks good because yeah. she she said that um all women should be able to feel beautiful. So well, I don't think wearing no clothes make me feel beautiful. I yeah. think I me think just having love too. within myself made me feel beautiful. So right. regardless of the fact, you know, I don't like to wear clothes. Me either. You know, so you know, I tell a guy in a minute, he like, You got some sexy drawers. I was like, Well, if you consider that ten pack from uh Walmart sexy with the little flowers on it, hey, I'll get the high waisted ones for you instead of getting the full the full brief. Oh my god. <laughs> Cause at the end of the day it's coming off, am I right? Right, you're right. It's coming off. So what is the point of me as a woman going to Lane Bryant's, going to Ashley Stewart's? Want to Frederick Hollywood spending all this money on some drawers that gonna end up on the floor? Because see, like, and then with, I a, tried. with a, but with I a man, tried to wear them thongs, they hurt. See, with a man though, it's they like cut my circulation off. I can't pee right after I put them on. I be having like, look, you know, I like a dude mess with your hoo ha, and then he scratch a little bit. That what it feel like? Oh my uh -uh. god! Oh, that's just oh my goodness! I'm sensitive. Oh, I, wow. got a, I don't do. I, look. I got a whole opinion about lingerie. Right, I, I think it's a waste of money and waste of time. You, know, you think it's Yes, it is. Why? Right, because it's coming I, off. I don't because lingerie is is a key tool in foreplay. Oh, for, okay. It's like it's like it's like cooking a steak. It's like cooking a steak. It's as presented. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta make it okay, real I'll juicy and good, good so that when it's time for the man to devour it, he can okay. motivated to devour. Okay. okay, so 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 let me rebuttal of what you're sitting here talking about. You better rebuttal. You're talking about from a single man standpoint. Right, even, a, woman's even a married man. But not, a married not, man's okay. wife can wear the... Okay, first, okay, first of all, been okay. married eight years. Mm -hmm. Me and my wife been together for 16. Right. Mm -hmm. Even a long time ago. I've even told her before, don't worry, I love it. Right. I love when you wear it, but... It's not necessary. It's like, like that does not... Like, don't get me wrong, you look sexy and everything. I love it to death. But that's not a deal breaker. It's not a must do. At the end of the day, she can come, like, she can come to be in... Squirrel from a girl. Exactly. This and, got some lotion on her and the same foreplay. <laughs> oh, baby, like, look, you need, look, the same foreplay that if you got the lingerie on is gonna take place with the same amount of passion and everything goes. Like, like, well, like, like what I think as far as like the exact like what I think as far as lingerie really goes is like for the singleness to keep the spiciness. Like early in relationships, yeah, you're yes, sure. that's important. But then you have role right. play for that. You know what I'm saying? That's oh, role yeah. play. I mean, I don't think a piece of clothing item should be the end all be all. Like, I like to play cops and robbers. Like, me and my husband used to play cops and robbers. Right. Who's you know, a cop? Who's a robber? Man, we would switch it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, play Stranger Danger. You know what I'm saying? Perfect Stranger. You know, we used to play One Night Stand. Hold on, did y'all do that? Like, it. hold on, because you, you know, some people, they, they'll do the role play, but some people actually go all out with the role play. Yeah. Like, 
They're actually like out. I will play crackhead. You crack like you don't even know crack. this person for real. Yeah. You're at a bar. Yeah, like but they're we, really husband and like, wife. Like, yeah, like one of my favorite moves. Like one of my favorite moves to play. One of my favorite moves. One of my favorite role plays to play. My husband was crackhead, cracky dude. Yeah, cause see, my husband was a crackhead, and so I was like, "Well, since you want, well, since you want crack, how about I just go have my cousin to let me serve you, and you just give me the money?" Mm. And I was a crack dealer, and he would get so turned on by it, and he would devour me when we get home, along with his crack. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the life. That's the-, <laughs> that's the life. I would get his whole check, no questions asked, cause I had the crack. Oh my God. I was the dealer. Now, I never was a crackhead. <laughs> that ain't my thing. Right. You know, the most that I smoked was some perp, and I stopped smoking that in 2001. 2000. Shout out to the perp. Yeah, yeah I, I did. I, and perp. the gelato. Perp, the gelato. Perp, perp will have you craving stuff that you ain't never even like. Like, I was craving plain for tingles, tingles, potato chips. Plain potato chips. I've been quiet, boy. Like, like, hold on. What the hell did you just say? Like, plain what? Pringles, Pringles, potato chips. Oh. Yeah, plain, plain Pringles, potato chips. I never liked them, and I smoked some perp from these dudes called the Gorilla Boys in Mobile, Alabama. Should have known better. Oh, I'm serious. And my home girl introduced me to it because I was used to smoking babbage and rabbit and cabbage. You know, I wasn't used to smoking that. And uh, this was the first time I got introduced to a name brand for my weed. <laughs> and um, I smoked it. And uh, I remember going to Bruno's, the grocery store down in Mobile. Shout out to Bruno's. They got shut down because Walmart moved into town. <laughs> and uh, lo and behold, I'm sitting in the store. and walking around looking for them plain Franklin potato chips with some purple Kool-Aid. And I don't even like Kool-Aid because my mama didn't raise me on Kool-Aid. I was raised on Tang. Okay. I was raised on Coca Cola. What you know about that tank? Okay, that's that, that's 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 imitation orange juice. It is and water. It is. But my mama it was special. Nasty aftertaste. No, my mama used to um put fresh lemons in hers and put real orange juice and mix it to let it stretch. I know somebody that made an actual punch and used that. Yeah, so. but yeah, my mama was bougie. All right, to it. my mother. Okay. R.I.P. Okay, I want to switch gears before we go, you guys. I want to talk about. I want to get. It's already time to go. We got about 20 minutes. Lies. It feels like we ain't been here that long. Right? right. What yeah. the hell? Because you just had that million in mind. So see, that's oh. how it is. But that ain't gonna, this, is gonna, they, this is going to take a Y'all time just for, made it for the for real. Because I want to get everyone's take on this. This is a serious situation. And this is real serious? It's very serious. Okay, hold on. Let me fix my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So... True and I was watching a show on uh, on cable, of course. It's called Inside Predator Task Force. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar what with channel? it. What channel? It was on the J channel. That's just what I know. It's, it's a J. It's a J network. I don't know the, the number. It's, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. I don't watch those channels gonna, like that. You know, I usually go look for the really J channel on my, like on my AT&T U-verse. And then you ain't going to find it. And I'm going to call you and cuss you out. <laughs> you like, like, no J on here. Xfinity is the best. My is opinion. that y'all sponsor or something? No. Well, don't shout them out because they overcharge me. <laughs> <laughs> they with Studio 21, though. Oh. So I'll shout them out. Oh, yeah. Shout out to uh, Xfinity. <laughs> Bad as hell cable in the land. <laughs> Show what up, X-Men? Oh, sorry. Go no, ahead, but yeah. see, look, hey, so Hawthorne Police Department. So this Department, on the J, J channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hawthorne Police Department in L.A., they um, are conducting a, a task force, and it's called the Predator Task Force in South Bay. And they use a 25-year-old young woman um, to be a 13-year-old decoy. Oh, okay, right. so okay, so they doing that inside the predator the thing that MSNBC had did at one time. Uh, yeah. yeah, like how to catch a predator. Yeah, how to catch but a predator. But this yeah. right here, yeah, whole nother level. So it's whole nother level stuff. This is because I saw four different cases, same girl, same hour, four different cases. She ain't gonna one of the one sense. of the men. One of the men. No, see what they do is of they course, do they use a different one every time. No, it's Just the, the same, same girl. girl. Well, what they gonna do for season two? <laughs> Nah, for real. That's like, for real, what you going to do for season two? Because they're going to already be here to this chick. I, I don't know. But I know that this was in that. They try to do it. See, when they when they get they, their their guy, mm-hmm. they done with it. Whoever got to do the paperwork, they do the paperwork. Right, they're right. on a whole nother case now. 
Okay. They're already on the phone trying to set everything up. Okay. And what bothers me is the fact that these men know they're talking to a 13 year old. Oh, of course. Like y'all know that this girl is 13 years old. One one of the cases, the girl was already scared because she said the guy was talking about, yeah, my friends are waiting for you. Um, we got to protect little, our like, kids. When I tell you. Yeah, it's scary. And it, it, and these these are situations, sis, and this is real talk. This is happening right now. As it is speak. happening right now because they're actually. Every time my little girls log online, you got kids? I do. I have two. I have a, a 10-year-old son and an 8-year-old daughter. Okay, be scared. I am. Be scared. Listen. Don't even let her have no social media pages. If I knew them and I knew now, my daughter would have never had one. I'm telling you, this is very serious because when you think that they're in there doing their homework, they're not. They're not. Sometimes I can't say all of it, and it doesn't apply to everyone. It applies to all y'all, because you, because you don't know what your children do. That applies. You have to definitely safeguard and be over them. Right. You really don't know. And you got to be over them in a way, and then you know it ain't like the world when we was growing up where you can like depot your kids. Like I, I have tried it. It's it's backfiring on me like a mug right now. I ain't gonna get into details of what man been doing, but all I'm gonna say is Jose Quavo. That's all I'm gonna say. But I wanna know like, what kind of damn shit you got. Because that task force show as serious What as day it come on? What day of the week it come on? I don't know. We just stumbled upon it. And I was just like, Well you really got experience, cool. you know all you have to do is hit info and it'll tell you when the next showtime is, sir. I don't remember. Saturday. I just know it could have been a rerun for all I know, but I'm gonna it, have. Was they running like a marathon run of it? No, it was just that, that one. Out, it was, it was just that's that probably the, the night it come on then Saturday night. Well, I'm gonna have to definitely check that, that out. That situation just brings me to the whole R. Kelly situation <laughs> because piss on them. My thing is this: for that, for that to have happened and and continuously go on for so many years, people know about it. And buy his music. Go to his concert. Not only that, but for us to be watching a show about, about the same Thanks. thing, they are actually putting together task forces for this very thing. And here we are. We have R. Kelly. 2018. Still who is thing. knowingly luring these teenage girls. Like, come yeah. on. And, and you famous. know what's funny? He knew the women at his show. The disgusting part about it that the women at his show they say are teenage girls. But they say it. He settles out of court, everything. Mm -hmm. These people are, I'm talking about, they're getting set up. Because they ain't rich or famous. That's why. That's a good That was my, that's, it's that's, a form that's of where I'm going though, with at it. At the end of the day, too. It's a form of entrapment, which is wrong within itself because here, here's the thing. We as parents need to police our kids, too. We can't always depend on the authorities to do everything, right? Because much as I, I don't give, hear you. much as I give my daughter freedom and a leg to hang herself, I still will snatch her phone. I still perform a search. I went to jail. I know what a search is. I will go through everything, and I find stuff. And I know what your social media passwords are. And let me find out you changed your name, and I don't see you follow me no more. Yeah. It ain't no unfollowing me. I'm your mama. I wish you would block me. You could block my friends, my cousin, your aunties, whoever. But you better not ever block me. Yes. You block me, your head will end up in a wall and my hand around your throat. <laughs> I don't play. This is serious because Yeah. I I I, I post what's that what's that app called? Thriller? Triller, you know the one where you, like you the dance, music video. Uh, music video. Yeah. Man, I saw that thing. Man, I'm in her phone, man. I'm like, what? I just want and to she know, twerking. I want to know from the guys, even out there, who has daughters. I just really want to know. Yeah, nieces, nieces, nieces even. Yeah. You may have young yeah, cousins that are 12 and 13 years old. Yeah, we, And we this is not something they are being pressured to do is my thing. These girls are on the phone talking to these guys. Yeah, I'm telling you I'm 13 and 14 and you're engaging in these sexual conversations with these predators. So it's not like somebody is putting them up against the wall to make them. They're doing this on their own. So it's kind of a two-sided coin to me. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's dangerous all in all it's because scary. that girl, that decoy, she was really like yeah, shaking scared, yeah. because she said... She has every right to be scared. She right. should be scared. 
here's the thing no matter what type of situation it is that you put in as a woman our instincts kicks in yeah you know what i'm saying the instincts will eventually kick kick in and like i tell my daughter all the time you don't know nobody yeah. up here you wasn't raised in atlanta georgia you just got here two years ago so these people that you call your friends ain't your friends you don't know these people you right. going over to somebody's house meanwhile on the ranch they got an uncle who got a fetish for little young girls with hips and ass because right. mm -hmm. that's what you got you know i had to recently in a relationship with somebody because i'm at the hotel in charleston everything happened in charleston baby comedy shows kicked off in charleston everything wow. but but what i'm saying is i'm in the hotel it was that morning do inbox me you know the facetime thing right, right. on facebook so we video chatting and i think my daughter had like passed by or something and he said who's that your daughter i was like yeah she with me what's up he's like oh did you know he, you know older men like young girls so I'm sitting there looking at his face while he's looking at my face. And, 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 I'm like, mm. did this nigga just say what I just think he just said? Oh, but I ain't talking about like, you know, underage girls. I'm talking about like 18, 19. Just underage. Uh, uh, yeah. Like, what the? Bro, 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 at that moment. Oh, my God. At that moment, I was like, I had heard what you did to yours. But I ignored it. Not necessarily because I was in denial. But I know how sometimes people can start rumors on people that ain't necessarily the truth. Right. But based on that comment. Yes, it confirmed. It confirmed yes. all these things. Because people ain't, everybody ain't going to be saying the same thing about you. I agree. And what's going on or what went on in you and your wife's house. Right. But the word was is that you messed with your own daughter. And I remember you making a comment about your daughter talking about my daughter ain't number hips and ass. But I ain't saying that because you know that's his daughter. She, right. Maybe she is all hips and ass. Hell, mine's all hips and ass. You know? And I made a conscious decision after dealing with him. That night, I remember he called me. And I said, I can't do this, bro. I said, you need to go get some help. Your dick need to be castrated. I said, because you going to F right around and try to slip that thing in some young meat for real. And here, I know about it what I per perceive you to be. And I ain't saying nothing. So my point that I'm trying to make is, and I tell all the mothers out there, I'm talking to all the mothers and the fathers. Be mindful of who you let your children around. Stop bringing people into your house, okay? Because you'll wake up. Just because somebody in your bed when y'all go to sleep don't mean that they there the whole time, okay? They just waiting on you to doze off hard enough so they can go in there and mess with your kids, okay? Because that happened to me growing up. My mama was sending me somewhere, and I didn't know what was about to go down. And it happened for a whole summer. It took me two years to say something. So know who your kids are around. I have made a conscious effort. I will date, but I will not date from my house. You can come to my house, but we're going to sit in the yard like we in high school. <laughs> Hold on. You ain't even getting in. You're not even coming in. You're in the yard. You in your car chilling. I give you. I even make it your lacio in the yard. You ain't getting lacio in the yard there, but you ain't coming in the house. Right. Yes. Ain't no man is gonna put their eyes on my daughter until she's an adult. Yes. And then by that time she is gone on to college and on um, to the um, military because my daughter wants to be a doctor. At least that's what she said this week. Next week it'll be an eyelash consultant. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But nevertheless, we got to protect our children. This whole thing introducing people to your kids right off the bat. No. No more. No done. Because you don't know who you introducing your kids to. Right. It is some predators out here. Just because somebody don't have a record don't mean that they ain't got the thought. Yes. That's true. Yes. The thought is, you know, oh, it's they just scary. Ain't caught yet. Okay. And talk to your kids. Talk to your kids. Talk to your kids. Talk to them. Just talk to them. It's not about them getting in trouble if they say something or ask you something. And like, that be the growing thing. Growing up, mm -hmm. That's my, what mom, my mom didn't. First of all, we didn't spend the night. Oh either. no! I ain't spending that. No if way. we went to go do homework or just go over there and play, whatever, she needed the address, parents' names, phone numbers, everything. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and it was not. It it was very rare that we actually even went anywhere. Like to spend the night. Like we didn't do no slumber parties. Who? No, my mama wasn't hearing that. Real talk. Well, I'll say this Real right talk. here. So, in my yeah. situation, I was spending the night. 
at people's house, but it wasn't people that we didn't know. It was family. And that's it still crazy. happened. Yeah. That's so crazy. it doesn't matter yeah. where you go. Yeah. It can still happen in your home. Mm. Mm. It's real. Mm. And it's hard, you know, we can always say, tell your parents, tell your parents, but that don't necessarily mean that the children are going to say something to their parents. Right. They don't mean that. Hey, Viv. Hey, Shout out to Ms. Viv and Shanae. Straight out of London. My, my brain is just going a thousand miles a minute. I just had to say something. When you said when you said about um, you know you need to talk to your kids, the thing that parents need to understand understand is that when you said that the feeling that you get that feeling that you get and you know something is wrong, something's not right. So for example, if a young if a child is talking to somebody online which they shouldn't be in the first place, and they get that feeling in their stomach. They are not mature enough to understand the well, difference between am I scared that my mom's going to catch me or is this a feeling that this is wrong? wrong right. So because, because of that, we as parents, we need to let the kids understand that don't worry about what I'm going to do and what I'm going to say to you. I'm here to protect and love you. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you're still going to be whole and you're still going to be alive. Right. Not that you won't get punished. You do something wrong, you get punished. Right. However, the parent wants to discipline, that's their business. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But they need to understand, no matter what happens, I'm always going to love you. Right. And no matter what happens, you come to me first because I am your protector. Amen. You yes. know what I'm saying? The police right. and the judge, they can't protect you. No. They're about um, making justice, doing justice when it's already done. Right. Yes. When that issue has already occurred. We're trying to prevent that from happening in the first place. Yes. yes. That's true. Awesome, Thank you. Bill. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. True. Thank you, Bethany Williams. Shout out to you. She said thanks for the invite. Great topic. Very important topic. Who is Bethany Williams? That's one of my friends because I've been inviting people. Yes. Shout out to Jennifer Payne, Rob Bird. I don't know all my friends. I got five. George Youngblood, uh, Miss Bethany Williams. Hey, Bethany. Shout out Vanessa Cates, Sandra Williams, Lashonda Key, uh, Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy. Shout out to you, Johnny. Yes. Oh, shout out to Miss Bev Grisby out of Mobile, Alabama. That's what's up, girl. We talked about that Waffle House thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you guys, it is important. So I really wanted us to let's hot, talk man. about it. This like, is this like, is one of the things. Like, literally, we do. like I'm having my own personal season right now. Yeah. Like like my I don't know if it's the waist trainer or the fact that I ate that waffle before I came here, but Real talk. Energy, <laughs> positive energy is great. Like, I feel like I'm on fire. Thing. Like I want to like go get on stage uh-huh. tonight and tell a joke or so. But see, that's the thing when you have good positive energy around you, especially you flowing through the people that you yes. have around you, you know in your feel? circle, yeah. that goes a long way. Because energy, positive and negative energy, they are transferable. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just I, be careful. Yeah, that's I, what's think, up. I think these two right here need to. Uh, Playing a stand-up comedy type of show. Oh, him together. It's, it's, like, yes. like, like, let me, I would love to see yes. him do a roast. Let, let me, let me, let me. I would love let me, to let see. Let me, let me explain roast. something to you. Yeah, right I don't get the vibe. <laughs> that he, I don't get the vibe that he want to work with me. Roast. I don't get that vibe that he want to work with. I don't know because he, he because he uh lit like a criminal tree now. <laughs> 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 But I saw more enthusiasm when brother threw up on him than I am now. I'm just oh, all right. oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, take yeah, a right, surprise. Yeah, 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 I mean, well, she know. I mean, she knows I don't like big purple anyway. So, yeah, I worry about your flirt, you know. Oh, oh, oh! I may be a big old purple, <laughs> but I got this good diabetes on you. Okay, I run your blood sugar levels up. I, I have, I'm, I'm sweet and salty at the same damn time. I run your blood sugar levels up and have your high blood pressure going up. Baby. Well, the way you my, don't want like this grease. The way my diet is set up, I, I don't like salt. So. Oh, it's not with me. It's not with me. Maybe, maybe you like that whole seasoning talking. Oh, sprinkle, sprinkle. If, if it ain't Lowry's, if it ain't Lowry's, I don't want it. Oh, hey, I got Lowry's. <laughs> Depending on what I'm drinking. I'm drinking. Hell, I'm drinking. I don't know, man. They said. Yeah, nah, man, I, they get told, I get it. I get it. They told me. They told me. I'm messing with you. They told me I got to watch out with from down there in Mobile. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I, I hey, watch yeah, because they pulling bitches' titties out down there at Waffle House. And put oh them on the ground. Imagine you on the ground at Waffle House and they just squirrel me around the floor. <laughs> I felt so bad. I ain't laughing, but I was cracking up when they sent me the video. I was like, 
Lord. I wouldn't think about the fact that the man to put his hands around her neck, she on the floor. All I'm thinking about, bitch, you on the nastiest floor in America. Waffle House. Right. Do you know how nasty that flow is? I barely, yeah. I walk in the Waffle House with those little uh, surgical screw up <laughs> things the on. Booty. I don't even want my red bottom to touch that flow. Okay, but look, Appreciate we do have a couple of events that are coming up, you guys. Okay, what's Before up? Before we go, we want you guys to know that on Friday, the 4th, Cinco de Mayo pregame, right. make sure that you guys come up 6340, Highway 85 in Riverdale, Georgia, you guys. We definitely going to have the red carpet. We're going to have free shots throughout the night. And then guess what? You can come back Saturday on Cinco de Mayo. And yeah, we're going to do it all yeah. over again. So I hope y'all ready, okay? But turn up for Cinco de Mayo. Really turn up mm-hmm. for the Cinco de Mayo. We're kicking it off on Friday. Yeah. And Maybe I'll bring my daughter since she like Jose Cuevo. I as long as she's 21. No, she's 15. No, she, oh she got to stay home. Well, why she has she with Jose Cuevo? She then? won't make it past my security. Exactly. exactly. May 26th, no, you guys. Go Charity. Oh, Millionaire Minds will be hosting the Gift of Abundant Love Charity yeah. Band Music Lounge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May 26, 2018, you guys. Mm. Make sure that you go on our pages. All the information will be there. We're going to share it. Make sure you share it yourself and come. All right. Come all out. artists who want to perform, you will get screened. You can send your information to um, info at giftofabundantlove.org and um, they'll take you from there. All right. Um, and one more thing, you guys make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. That's Millionaire right. Minds with our two cents yes. radio show. That's and right. on Instagram is Millionaire Minds Two Cents with the C. Shout out to Chad Bar Grill, Kayla Michael Neal. Woo! <laughs> <You're so sick. laughs> Anything else, Callie? No across Georgia. Well, I like it. He all extra quiet. Tonight. He quiet today. What was the sarcasm at? I, I'm not back used back to this. Well, it's all good. He, no, he, he's a no, he's no, a gentleman. No, no. He's a gentleman. He's a no. gentleman. The other comedian to shine. That's what it is. Oh. A lot of a lot of male comics don't do that. They try to take the spotlight, and this brother right here don't mind sharing the spotlight with other talent. Kudos, right. kudos. So, right. so, so what we're not gonna do is depict him for his quietness. We're not gonna get on to. Don't mess with him. I'm, I'm listen, with him all we, the time. I know, I know, I know, I know. But what I'm Mike's saying is, on. this is the reason why he's quiet. Outside, he's gonna be totally different. I yeah. know it, but he's giving me the hell out. That's not show time. Am I right? It's, yeah, it's, like, it's this, another this is her, like this is her interview. This you asked her the questions, and we she told her story. Yeah, but so, and the show's over too. Yeah, yeah, so too. Oh, sorry, y'all. Yeah, y'all come back each and every time. Four to six, six p.m. You guys. Y'all gotta have that back. Oh yeah. I wanna come back. Boomerang edition.